Hi guys, I'm Oleg and I'm Vadim and today we will be talking about our brand new beast cages for iPhone 16 series. So after some sneak peeks on Instagram, we are excited to show you the final product. So let's talk about, about the prototype background. So a few days after the new iPhone 16 was released, we showed a prototype for these new cages. And uh, so basically it was our first try to make this cage. And so we could start testing some things. Yeah. So can you tell us a little bit more? Yeah, so we had prototypes based on leaks and that's what we showed on Instagram. Uh, the way we did it, it was not like a final version. We just wanted to test some upgrades that we wanted to implement into the new cage. And we did just like slightly larger cage. We had some set screws to position the iPhone, but we implemented new lock mechanism for the cover, plus a slightly different design for buttons. That's what we wanted to test and hope that, you know, new mm -hmm. iPhone's gonna fit. So it did fit because of the set screws to set the position. That's what allowed us to actually, you know, test lenses with great precision, uh, also kind of test new implementations mm -hmm. for the lock and buttons but those samples that we have right here that's actual final design that we approved and that's what we gonna, gonna be selling selling and right now we want to show you guys what is new because we have a number of exciting updates with these new designs so basically we can say this is our best cage ever made i think so there's a lot of improvements right yeah there are like overall they look kind of the same but we do have some improvements that like in general makes cage more robust uh like much more durable a little bit lighter actually and uh, a little bit smaller definitely uh, lighter because the first you time feel, I held right? it, it's yeah much it's lighter. about like 10 15 percent lighter than previous cages where 15 cages were lighter than 14 cages. So we kind of keep going, you know, trying to remove as much material as possible, but we don't want to com compromise on uh, durability and how rigid the cage is. So, but I think on this version, we did like as much as we could to, you know, preserve that durability, mm -hmm. but remove as much material as possible. So, and that applies for both cages. So, so you wanted to start talking about uh, what's new in this cage compared to the previous model. Yeah, so first is size. So it is like three millimeters longer than previous cage just because of the iPhone mm -hmm. size. It has, it, it is three millimeters longer than previous iPhone 15 series. However, we were able to uh, reduce the width of the cage by four millimeters. And I think it's a lot because like it's it fits in your hand much better and like you said you could feel it right away right that away. Is, so it, it is lighter. I don't think someone's gonna see a, a big difference in you know those three millimeters but it's definitely a big improvement in weight and yeah it's not only like here it's like width is smaller it's also we reduce as much as possible material right here inside mm -hmm. So that's like overall, it's about 40 or 50 grams on a bigger cage. Mm -hmm. It's lighter than previous one. And this one's about like 30 something grams. Doesn't sound much, but when you, you know. When you, when you hold it, you definitely can yeah. say that. And uh, so that's first thing that we did. Uh, what we also did, we actually increased the thickness of the cover. Uh, because we put phone deeper inside of the cage. Mm -hmm. So now it's like exactly like the center of the cage. And that allowed us to add extra millimeter to the cover. And the reason we did that, because uh, on previous cages, it was like three millimeters mm -hmm. thick and uh, it had some flex, you know, when mm -hmm. you close the cage, if you push your phone mm -hmm. a little bit, you could kind of feel, feel the some, movement, yeah. some flex. Here is that extra one millimeter, it, kind of allows it to be more like stiffer. Shut. When you close it, it's like much 
better is like snug fit mm -hmm. and if you push it you know you don't feel that much movement mm -hmm. just because that cover is thicker and it holds it better together but on top of that what also makes a difference it's a new lock mm -hmm. that we have right here because on all the previous generation cages we had like original design of the plastic lock which had a snap fit mm -hmm. so when you push it it's flexes mm -hmm. and then it's holding the cover this one now is like machined aluminum piece we have some compression spring mm -hmm. inside so it's all mechanical there is no like snap fit it's just mm -hmm. super durable and solid plus thicker cover so all of that together makes it like really secure mm -hmm. you actually there is no way if you drop it if you do something there is no way it's gonna open at mm -hmm. all just because you have to push it specifically in one direction to, to get it open and you know if you press it from the side from the top like it's just gonna you know it's not gonna move there is some resistance you have just to slide it like this so also it benefits because there is zero chance of accidental opening yeah like there is it, like no you way know, you you can you just slide do something put, you yeah know, yeah to open it it's just like super secure and i can show like here it opens pretty much exactly the same way it just the way it locks the cage mm -hmm. and it's really like easy and nice click mm -hmm but super secure so new and satisfying click yeah very that's, satisfying that's also improvement so what about the pads that secure is everything the same you know the yeah it's the same the rubber pads, pads that yeah. hold the phone yeah Nothing so we have like there. no the same material same rubber pads just because they work so mm -hmm. well so we are not changing something that like that uh, works good yeah <laughs> works uh, perfectly it just like those small improvements that we kind of try to do to make it even better mm -hmm. you know so uh, the next buttons i mean for users they're probably not gonna feel any difference because the buttons uh, have the same compression springs the same button designs only difference is how those buttons are assembled into mm -hmm. the cage because before we used initially some like threaded uh, piece cover to hold that button which was like really hard to assemble. Then we went to like snap fit buttons with additional glue, which was like time consuming and mm -hmm. also hard to assemble because of the use of the glue. Plus, you know, uh, it was a snap fit. So mm -hmm. it's, there are ways to make it better. Improved. So what we did, we did like those tiny Thank covers you. that uh, you attach with tiny screws. Mm -hmm that makes it like extremely durable secure reliable so basically there is nothing that can be and broken what in case if you need to replace it just let's say something happens, it's easy to remove yeah the plate and just put yeah the because it's in. all like assembles mechanically mm -hmm. uh, there is no glue there is mm -hmm. nothing it's just like tiny screws and uh yeah so we also added this camera control button yeah. because when we uh, were discussing how that camera control gonna work we were not sure but then we realized it works uh, from the pressure mm -hmm. like mix of mechanical and sensor button so for that reason we integrated this uh, camera control button because it has limited functionality but it still allows you to launch a camera quickly mm -hmm just you know if you press then double click yeah just a single click mm -hmm. to to launch the camera and then another click to you know to take a photo mm -hmm. or start video recording just like a shutter mm -hmm. button mm -hmm. so for those reasons like if we can implement it and give user another option just you know to use yeah. shutter control here mm -hmm. not through the volume buttons mm -hmm. i mean we added it you sure. know <laughs> so you guys can use it and I was concerned about like ergonomics of mm -hmm. that because it would be more sense to have it closer, closer to, the to the edge, edge. even yeah. like just with an iPhone, mm -hmm. just when you hold it like this. Mm -hmm. But that position is more towards the center of the iPhone. But if you hold it like this, it 
pretty good. I mean, again, for me personally, <laughs> I, I'm you using screen all the time. I, it's, uh, I'm still using the screen, but even if it's on tripod somewhere or if you're doing like some sort of, you know, vlog mm -hmm. or selfie, you now have you have option. it here, yeah. And you can grab your phone and we have this like tiny uh, cut like out. cutout. So you, you know where mm -hmm. your where finger is, is or yeah. thumb is because like you can feel it mm -hmm. and you can press it. Uh, volume buttons, the same. Power button is the same. Uh, we were managed to still keep the cold shoe mm -hmm. because that was a concern because cold shoe before on previous cages we had it in this position where mm -hmm. the button is. However, we kind Move of managed it. Left, yeah. And we kept it like, you see on previous cages it was open here, but we, we kept it close. close. It just looks cleaner. Mm -hmm. And, but you still have the cold shoe and you can put whatever yeah, accessory. Yeah, Another update we did, as you can see here on the edges, uh, around the quarter inch mounts, we have uh, locating pin slots. So that will allow us to add accessories that have those locating pins mm -hmm. like magic arm or any type of mount. And it's like even with a single screw, you can attach any type of magic arm with those pins very securely so there is no movement mm -hmm. and uh, we have some ideas for mounts for like grips and handles to implement just a single mm -hmm. connection point instead of like multiple screws but all of the existing like L brackets for side handle like CH50 handle all the accessories that we currently have they still gonna work with this cage it just we are kind of thinking to how we can add a little bit more mounting options mm -hmm. for different handles just make it easier to use just with a single screw and also maybe improve some like ergonomics uh, we're working on that stuff okay. but uh, like i just want to again tell you guys that all of the existing accessories they just gonna fit in the cage like previous cages so everything stays compatible. Yeah. Uh, maybe let's talk about the lens compatibility, the plates and yep. the department. So with the plates, it's like with uh, previous 15 cages, what we did because of uh, 5X camera. So uh, we have three plates that come with each cage. It's 37 for our lenses and DUF adapter, moment, T bayonet mount, plate and of course m17 plate with uh, 17 to 37 adapter ring so it's about the same as 15 cages however uh, plates from 15 not gonna fit here the only reason for that is because we made it smaller mm -hmm. so actual plates also like four mm -hmm. millimeters thinner not mm -hmm. thinner but uh, not as wide as mm -hmm. previous so they're a little bit smaller and uh, but because iPhone is sits inside of the cage more towards uh, like this way frame, because we, we put it deeper so those plates are like a little bit thicker mm -hmm. but overall it's smaller mm -hmm. and a little bit lighter uh, so for that reason mm -hmm. they are not cross compatible with mm -hmm. previous cages no, with every beast cage, we give a uh, you know the whole set. Yeah, of cage, so yeah. So no plates worries. come with a cage. It just uh, you know, for example, for this one, 58. yeah, fifty-eight millimeter filter mount. It looks practically the same mm -hmm. as uh, fifteen. However, again, because actual cutout for it's the different. plate is smaller by four millimeters, we have to kind of design new plates. And you know, we could keep everything close to fifteen series just keep it uh, the same size but we kind of you know wanted to see okay if we can make it smaller mm -hmm. lighter uh, again without sacrificing any with, durability with those changes come new changes you know that you need to adapt to yeah to the and sizing I everything. think like moving forward because like we try to keep all the depths of the quarter inch mounts standardized mm -hmm. so you know because on some cages it may have like thinner 
bezels or frame depths of the screws may not be deep enough you know so we want to keep everything standardized mm -hmm. so we try to reduce like the size as much as possible but still keep standard depths of the mm -hmm. mounts and uh, of course like 37 millimeter uh, lens mount has this size mm -hmm. so we want to make sure you know we are not um, sacrificing durability and making it mm -hmm. even smaller so like we reduce everything as much as possible still preserving like standard features and but making it lighter and a little bit smaller so also so we you know sometimes we have questions like will my lenses work with new cages yes all of our existing pro series lenses lenses i'm sorry are fully compatible with new cages and with new iphones yeah we filmed uh, all of the videos for for that like uh, mm -hmm. uh, iphone 16s and beast grip gear we're just doing editing so that video is coming soon but yeah all of the lenses duf adapters they work exactly the same as on previous, uh, previous uh, 15 and older iphones so they are super sharp very nice details everything kind of exactly the same as on iphone 15. Okay, so is there anything else you want to say about the design or we got this covered? I think we discussed all the upgrades and again, I, I can't wait until you guys gonna get it into your hands because I think you're like gonna love this lock the and new lock, the way yeah. it's closing so, and size and weight. So, so uh, the pre-orders. Yeah, we're going to start pre-orders very soon, maybe this week. We're also going to launch our Black Friday sale. Uh, so they will be available for pre-order as for the ETA uh, we just want to be like on the safe side mm -hmm. so pre before last year we did like January mm -hmm. so probably we're gonna do the same just so we don't want to rush anything we want to do proper assembly proper QC so uh, if we'll have a chance to start shipping it faster we will do but uh, we'll post it for like the January updates. as ETA for the pre-orders and of course we're going to keep you updated in case something changes yeah if something changes if we'll manage to start shipping it faster, faster of course we're going to start shipping it faster and just on like last thing i just want to show because we we never showed we kind of discussed about this cage for the cage, cage, for the cage. so this one is a sample from uh iphone 15 mm -hmm. pro max uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> type of cage so for the 16 series, we updating this design, making it a little bit uh, better, let's put it this way. Mm -hmm. But we are planning to release uh, those additional cages uh, for the 16 Pro and Pro Max. It will be the same cage, mm -hmm. but you'll be able to uh, add, you know, both smaller and larger cage inside. And uh, what is cool about this one, it also has this like quick release plate that is compatible with base plate like RE BPA to mm -hmm. BP9. And what it does, it allows to have those 19 or 15 millimeter rods at perfect position to the camera center. And yeah, like a bunch of those mounts all standardized mm -hmm. to new RE pattern standards that they proposed. Uh, standard NATO rails, built-in 15 millimeter rods. So this cage also going to be released a little bit later, and it will be available for both 15, uh, 16 Pro and 16 Pro. So we're Max. looking at the beginning of 25, I would say. Uh, probably, yeah, maybe February, maybe March, but we're definitely going to do this cage because we had a bunch of questions and requests asking about that case that we showed in O2 project. And once again, if we have more information, we will make a video update you about this new product too. So uh, I believe we covered everything we want to talk yep. about today. And uh, guys, just wait a week or two and then you're going to be able to make pre-orders. And we want to thank you for watching and we'll see you in next episode. Thank you guys.